uh, some sore bodies. Uh, look, there's a uh, couple of dead legs um, with Josh Adams and uh, Jonathan Davies got a bit of a whack on his knee. Um, obviously with uh, Dan Bigger, it uh, was a, a removal from the field. Um, and apart from that, just guys are just a bit sore and battered, really, after a tough physical game. We've got one in the centre here. Moran, just on Dan, obviously that was a bit of a sickening blow he took. Um, was concussed last week. Was he actually concussed this week? Do you know that for sure? Um, he didn't. He didn't do an HIA. It was just because of the contact. He was just removed from the, from the field because of that. So, um, which um, means that he, you know like he's not in consideration for for Sunday, and then he'll have to go through uh, the protocols, and we'll probably get someone to to have a look at him as well. I have a follow-up question here. With that short turnaround in mind, then obviously. Um, the key question would be who is the backup 10? Obviously, you've got Reese, um, but who would be the next 10 if you need someone off the bench? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll probably sit down as um, coaches and, and look at that. We look at whether we go for a, um, some players are going to have to back up, um, particularly the backs, a um, couple of the backs maybe. So we may go for a 6 2 split, 6 forwards 2. Um, and we've got some some pretty quality nines who may we may look at that. Um, obviously, Hedy Parks has, was talked about, and then and Liam Williams. Uh, we've been running Helen Amos a lot at ten as well during uh, at trainings, and he's looked uh, pretty sharp there too. So we'll we'll just weigh weigh those options up in terms of who we think can do a good job for us. And, uh, I think Gareth Davies went on the wing today. We talked about where that was Samuel Thomas, but. Um, yeah, he did, a, he did a good job for us too. So we've got players who would be a little bit unfamiliar, but we have been running players at training, um, covering those positions. Um, and um, you know, with a short turnaround, uh, we need to freshen some players up and, and hopefully we're good enough to, to be able to do a job on, on Sunday to, to secure this group. Hi, Warren. Just quickly on Jonathan Davis and Josh Adams. Have you got any fears about them longer term, the, the knocks they took, or how are they looking? No, no, no fears. No, I mean, they're just... Josh just took a... Uh, just a dead leg, basically, and Jonathan just with his knee as well, the same sort of thing. So, But, you know, you never know with knees. They'll probably will get them assessed um, tomorrow when they... All the players uh, go and have a... A review on the of of, um, of today. Uh, Warren, two tries down after seven minutes. I wonder in the coaching box what was going through your head and, and out on the field, Alan, uh, yourself as, as well at that point. Um, look, uh, we knew we knew Fiji were going to be tough. Um, so they were very good in the last 15 minutes or so against Georgia. Started really well against. Uh, Australia, and they've got some absolute world-class athletes. Um, so for us, it was disappointing to concede uh, a penalty uh, right from the start of the game, and then they've, they've scored off that. So, look, I would have taken from 10-0 down um, to, to finish with a bonus point um, when uh, I thought that showed some, some great character of, of the side. We've started the first two games really well, and then we're behind by 10 points, two tries down to to none down, um, and then we've got ourselves back into it, and um, and like I said, and, and I thought finished really strongly as well. So um, <coughs> tough, but s some real character displayed out there. You know, particularly how 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 hard and physical that game was. We have a Japanese question here. Just bear with us. For a second. すみません地元の大分県のメディアのものですけれども、えっと、準々決勝で再びあのここ,ここ大分で戻ってきて試合をしていただくと思うんですがそのことについてはどう思いますか um, look, 
I thought the atmosphere of the game w was brilliant. So you know, we're really, really excited to come back and to be involved in the quarterfinals here, um, and particularly having already experienced playing in the stadium. I think hopefully that's going to be um, you know, an advantage for us. Right, I've got one at the front here. Thank you. Uh, Alan, what was your reaction to that? And ultimately, were you quite pleased with the way that you came through in the end and the character you showed? Um, yeah, I think <clears throat> obviously pleased with the result. Um, we knew um, Fiji were, were going to be dangerous, as they always are, but more dangerous than the fact they probably had nothing to lose coming in, into this one. Um, you know, they started the game with a worldly offload, and we hurt ourselves then early on. Um, on an early pen and they got territory and um, they're difficult to stop but to turn two deficits in two, both halves um, and have two yellows and still get a result with the four, four tries is, is pleasing um, but you know there's by no means was it perfect and there's plenty to work on um, moving forward and that's, that's a decent place to be. Thank you for the follow up question. Warren, at this stage, there appears to be a bit of confusion about the England-France game, whether it's going to go ahead, whatever's happening with that. I just wondered, given that they're your likely quarter-final opponents, what's your take on that and how it's going to impact them? I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Sorry, waste of question. I don't, look, I don't know. Um, I haven't been following what other groups are doing. We've just been concentrating on ourselves. So, um, you know, I've only heard a whisper about that, and, but nothing, I don't think nothing confirmed. I mean, from our point of view, um, we are probably in the, and yeah, we've got another game to go. It's really important for us that we don't slip up. But it's, you know, in all likelihood, it's probably France in the quarterfinals. Now, did you want to go ahead? Yeah, we'll go with you. Just a word on Josh Adams. Obviously, um, missed a couple of tackles early on for the first two tries, but then ended up scoring a hat trick. What did you make of him today? Um, yeah, I thought he was, uh, he was very good. He, look, I, I don't, wouldn't blame anyone on missing sort of a tackle like that. Uh, um, he's, uh, he's missed the first one and someone's missed the second one and then uh, great finish in, in the corner. So, But I thought he was, uh, the way that he that finished those opportunities, that he was unlucky on one. It was pretty, it was touch and go. Um, but uh, the way he finished some of those tries, you know, that's a real skill that he has to get across the line and and to do what he what he does. Um, you know, I think that second second one was a great finish, and um, I thought he had you know an outstanding game. He some good footwork, and you know, he's definitely been a real find for us over the last year or so. So I haven't uh, Japanese recorded with the question there. Thank you. 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 えっと、フォワードを結構フェーズアタックの中でもフォワードもしっかり前にあのボールを持たせてあのコンタクトする場面も多かったですけど、フィジー相手にああいう戦い方をしたいなっていう考えてたんですか。うん。いや、いや、デ
Warren, you're in the World Cup quarterfinals. How does that feel? And what more have you got to do in this competition? Um, yeah, we're absolutely delighted. I mean, I think everyone's fear is to try and get out of your pool, and, and if you do that, then it's about taking one game at a time. And um, yeah, so you know, we we know that a lot of those teams that we've played, we've had some some pretty good success in the last 80 months or so in terms of of this team. Uh, they've shown some great character. They've played in games where we've dominated and come, played in games where we've come from behind and showed some great composure as well. And so I thought today was a was was one of those games. Um, and um, you know, it's knockout stage now. So um, you know, after after the Uruguay game on Sunday, and we like I just want to stress that we can't start thinking about quarterfinals. We know we're in the quarterfinal, but we've got a job to do on, on Sunday, and there's an opportunity for players on, on Sunday to put their hand up and, and stake a, a claim for a, a, for a quarterfinal berth or, or perhaps um, potentially later on in this tournament. We've got Lincoln there. Thank you very much to Warren and Alan for coming along. Um, the mix zone will start shortly. Safe travels to Wales to um, Kumamoto. Thank you.